Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Formation of an EU banking union may need a treaty change. DNA tests show up to 5% horse meat in beef products. Depositors could lose as much as 8 billion euros. Italian IT services provider Agile seeks an EDF bailout. Plus, leaked Council of Europe report suggests Greece could ban Golden Dawn. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Germany's finance minister has claimed that a banking union could require changes to EU law, potentially putting the brakes on a plan designed to prop up the euro. Wolfgang Schobel went on to say, Banking union only makes sense if we also have rules for restructuring and resolving banks, but if we want European institutions for that, we will need a treaty change. That's an interesting perspective, but certainly not in line with the information we have. Under the terms of the Lisbon Treaty, the EU Commission has the Flexibility Clause, previously known as the Passerelle Clause under the EU Constitution. Now, the EU Constitution did not get enacted, but the Lisbon Treaty did. This Flexibility Clause provides the EU with a mechanism by which it can grant itself powers where none exist. What this means is that, sure, it may require treaty change and the politicians must not be seen to be deceiving the people, but there is no requirement to consult the people to make such a change. Pretty sneaky, huh? <laughs> Thousands of DNA tests on beef products across the European Union found the meals contained up to 5% of horse meat, said the European Commission. Nay, surely not. Back in February, the EU ordered 2,250 DNA tests on prepared meals said to contain beef in the wake of the horse meat scandal, which hugely undermined consumer confidence in the food industry. So it turns out that without shouting or protesting, still the people of Europe are getting a little horse. Large depositors who kept their money in the two biggest Cypriot banks stand to lose up to 8.3 billion euros through the restructuring of the two institutions, a European Commission document showed. OK, stop. Hang on a minute. Stand to lose 8.3 billion. They're not standing to lose it. They're being robbed, stolen, fleeced, ripped off, held up, bent over, screwed, pinched, nicked, done up like a kipper. Further to the point, they're not standing for it. The Cypriots have continued to protest, march, shout, scream, bang pots and pans in the streets, making very vocal their objection to this state-ordered highway robbery. Sadly, unlike us here at the unit, the mainstream media is choosing not to report on internal strife in Europe, and that includes the massive protests in Cyprus. Italian IT services provider Agile SRL has crashed and burned in the collapsing EU economy. This report in our legislation section details the stark reality of EU economic policy. This application is the third for the year 2013 and it refers to the mobilisation of 3.6 million euros from the EGF to support 1,257 redundancies in Agile SRL. The European Globalisation Adjustment Fund was set up to provide support for workers made redundant by major shifts in world trade patterns and to assist them in their reintegration into the labour market. Greece has adequate legal grounds to outlaw Golden Dawn or any other political organisation found to be engaging in racially motivated crimes, Europe's human rights watchdog suggests in a leaked report. Sources said the report links several incidents of racist violence and hate crimes to supporters, members and deputies of Golden Dawn, which is described in the document as a neo-Nazi party. Today, in our video library, we are excited to announce that we have a new film that we have produced here at the unit. This latest production called Betrayed, 
sets out the case and the evidence showing that the UK government has been complicit in handing away our rights to self-determination and sovereignty, and that over the course of more than 40 years, successive politicians have acted against the interests and wishes of the British people. We have also entered this new film into the Paul Revere contest, which is being run by Alex Jones and Infowars.com. We hope that you like the new film and we would be delighted to get your feedback on it. I'm Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below.